People, my people, welcome to the uh, first ready to drink um, of the summer of 2023. There's going to be a couple more coming in, including I threaten a um, visit by Blanche and Odette and hopefully Chantel. Um, so, what I'm going to do tonight with the ready to drink is the people who bring you solo the um, lemon drink that you have to slam down hard for those hot days, it's actually decided to make an adult version. Um, this stuff, hard solo. Not Han Solo, just Hard Solo. Now, I have done a certain amount of chatting in this, amongst chat groups I belong to, and the general, general, general consensus is this has done really well. However, allergen warning. And I know this is really quite the first. Um, this has preservative 221 in it, okay? Which means I enjoyed a couple of these at the requisite temperature the other night, courtesy of my friend Blake, Blanche. Um, if you want to be traumatized, go and see the reviews with um, Ready to Drinks with Blanche in them. And I dropped a couple of these, said, oh gee, this is really good. And then I have to admit, the next day I had a hangover, not a hangover, I had a headache all day. Um, it took uh, a couple of Benamax to move it, and given the fact that I move mowers and use uh, edges for a living. Um, imagine having a headache all day was not exactly the most uh, I suppose that creature friendly thing. So if you do have a preservative intolerance like I do, um, watch it. You know, this has got it in it. Having said that, I'm going to make a sound of happiness tonight. I figure out how to open this. Okay. Yeah, I should have been an engineer. I know it. I know it not. So, the general consensus in chat groups is, is that um, hard solo is done well. Now, you will see it looks suspiciously like just the regular version. And herein lies the trap. The cans look very similar to the kitty version. The taste is very similar to the kitty version, but this is about four and a half percent. It is four and a half percent alcohol. Um, it is extremely drinkable. Okay, um, I can see uh, if they were to bring this out and say, heaven forbid, a um, goon bag, it's like cask for you, non non Melbourneians. Um, I can see an awful lot of this game missing out on summer th summer's day, to be honest with you. A nice big jug, ice cubes, and a litre of this. And basically you'd have your, your Sunday afternoon sorted. You know, um, <clears throat> you'd be out there cremating um, sausages and pork chops and other animal flesh on your barbie, whilst knocking back out a lot of these. Extremely drinkable. Um, I've heard in the United States they actually have a hard um, Mountain Dew. Personally, I think that rather than putting Preserve 221 into this, what they should have done was simply check up the alcohol. Um, the preserve is there because this is clearly under the threshold in which alcohol itself acts as a preservative. So, note to... who makes it? Um, Asia, uh, Asahi Premium Beverages in South Bank. I think I should go knock on the door and go, Hey you! Doc, 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 doc! Hey you! Jack up the alcohol, take out the prezzo. If they triple the alcohol, it would still be a liqueur, if that. Um, it would be about the same as a wine, good wine. Yeah, triple it. Yeah, that's 13.5%. Yeah. We're still dealing with wine type alcohol, like alcohol levels, and you might indicate the lead for the preservative and thus the um, headaches in people like me. So this is the hard solo for those times when the um, soft solo will not do, and you really want to crush it and then knock it down fast because summer is coming. Um, I'm going to try to sound all butch because I won't say ocker mate because that would just sound completely stupid coming out of someone like me. 
So that's the first RTD. You've just hit subscribe and um, hit follow and share and tell your friends about Uncle Odin's, um, well, just Odin's reviews. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you thought 2023 was big, bitch, strap in. You're going to be in for a great ride in 2024. There is going to be. I've found 10 gins already that I really, and, and distilleries that I really want to get to know, and they're coming to you on this channel. Australia's number one YouTube gin review channel. Would you believe it or not? I'm the only guy out there who posts this weekly. And it's all because I love you, my people, my people. See you around for um, this. Promises to be wicked. Be bad. Don't let Jesus die for nothing.